Hi guys and welcome to the Euro Car Show. Today we're reviewing the brand new Volvo XC60 all-wheel drive hybrid. And as usual, I say let's get into the review straight away. First of all, we'll take a walk around the car so we can see the trim. This is the R design pack on the whole car. It looks very aggressive. It's very, oh my God, it's very gorgeous, especially in the sunlight. Not too much and in this weather with a bit of uh, ice, as you can see on the ground and snow, it just looks perfect. That's Volvo territory 100%. You can see the wheels, black accents on the wheels, black accents a bit everywhere, like the trim is a bit darkened out, as you can see the mirrors and everything. So there's no chrome, it's a, like a full black package. And then the car with this white pops really, really well. Now, as you can see, and as I told you, this is a hybrid, so there's where you charge it like with the XC40, same principle, basic principle, very simple, and uh, it charges quite quickly, a, a few hours to get the full charge, which is about 35 kilometers. And again, look at those black accents here and everywhere and here on the roof. Plus this is a full panoramic, so it's very, very nice. And of course, well, keyless entry and uh, all that. So as you can see from the side, this car looks very, very nice. There's not much to say, you know, design is quite subjective. I'll just give you the walk around and stop for a few design cues and everything. But overall, well, you're uh, the one who decides. You're the one who reviews the design. Personally, I like it. And of course, twin exhausts, one on each side. And again, it's a proper exhaust and it's very windy outside, by the way. I'm sorry for that. But uh, yeah, no choice. It's the winter. Yeah, twin exhaust, I love that. Diffuser in white here with the black accents. Again, everything's very well made and it looks just perfect. Like the package design-wise, I find it very, very appealing. Everything from, you know, there's a spoiler here. We did, honestly, this, like blacked out windows in the back and everything, it just gives it a more aggressive look. So the R design package plus all those little bits and trims make it a very aggressive looking Volvo. See, again, let's finish the walk around. Such a gorgeous car, such a beauty. And again, if I sleep and die, this is all for you guys. As you can see, it's very icy on, <laughs> on the ground and uh, I'm uh, risking my life here for this review. Let's look at the front. Of course, LED lights, no question about it. Uh, very Volvo, you can see the signature, full LED system. I love that. It's a very, very nice looking car. I love the XC40 design wise, but this is even more you know, in my territory, I'd say. So you know what, let's start with the engine as usual. Let's open up the bonnet. Okay. Let's go to the front. I've never opened this bonnet yet. Let's see, oh yeah, that's quite simple. And it has struts, so that's nice. So there's the engine. This time we're not on a three cylinder, but a four cylinder. It's a two liter turbocharged engine, petrol obviously, plus electric motor. This delivers a total output of 340 horses and 590 Newton meters of torque. So it's quite a fast car. It's not slow at all. Plus this is a four wheel drive system, uh, as we'll talk a bit more about it uh, later. But yeah, overall, this is a quick, quick setup and it has a nice wind because it's turbocharged and, and, and supercharged. Like this engine is quite <laughs> interesting uh, and sporty in its character. Although this is for a proper mid-size SUV, something like a Q2, so unexpected, but uh, I like it. I was supposed to get the diesel at first, but then I got this one. I'm quite happy about that. Now, moving on to the back of the vehicle because, well, it's getting very cold and I'm starting to shake. And I think that you'll see that on camera. This has, of course, electric uh, trunk, but let's see the space. Let's see if this works. Well, the last time it worked, no? Okay, it works, see, on the second try. The first time it worked, like, first time it just worked, and the second again, and see, now on camera, I'm, I'm not gonna edit that out. It's just the way it works. These things are not super reliable, but for, for once, Volvo, uh, actually, it works. So yeah, Volvo is one of the few brands where it works. I hate this. Like, this is the most dreadful cover, honestly. Why would you do that? Oh my God. Okay, so there is the trunk of this car. And as you can see, again, my bag for reference. Here's the bag with the electric cables here. Plus you have some extra storage underneath. Not very much. This is a four wheel drive. So you do lose some space in the batteries and everything. So this is not the biggest trunk, but it's still a very generous trunk. You can have here like some tools or a safety kit. And uh, you know, of course the seats, they're fold. You have a ski trap and everything. So 
obviously I'm not even gonna get into that it's a huge trunk and you have my bag as usual for reference happy okay let's move on to the interior because I'm freezing and let's jump behind myself basically again finishes very nice leathery soft touch materials speakers window very simple but yet very classy very well laid out and again this is the R design so you get sportier uh, seats in the back as well which are very very nice and here a bit of a tunnel of course this is four-wheel drive so let's jump in my sitting position in the front and here as you can see sorry for the snow Volvo I'm messing up your interior well there's a lot of space as you can see there's proper proper space you have a socket here you have the air coming through here you have a very gorgeous panoramic roof which is humongous and I love that this is just a great option and you do get some storages in the doors and here I'm, I'm not sure what this would be again good for probably again the same sneakers as in the XC40 but yeah not much else to say in the back this doesn't have heated seats in the back but I'm sure it's an optional uh, thing that you can get see again headroom and this is again the panoramic version so it's supposed to give you less headroom in my case I'm very comfortable I'm very well seated and uh, I honestly it I, I could get like a 2000 kilometers journey in the back of this car no problem whatsoever and again remember I'm a big man I'm over 190 centimeters tall and I'm over well over 100 kilograms so you know so again I'm quite big and I fit just fine in this car now I say let's move on to the front let's open up the door again I like the finishes in the Volvos they're very they're honestly quite nice uh, and so far this is the second Volvo I got and again not disappointed again here the Harman Kardon speakers which well I cannot show you but they're very very good again comments for the windows memory seats and you know lock on lock this is aluminium I like this it's very premium leather again and here you get the tiny badge of you know recharge because this is a recharge again electric seats with lumbar support on adjustments and everything and again sportier seats than in the Volvo XC40 because that was the inscription model and this is the R design I very much enjoyed this interior I, I, I've driven the car for almost a week now and I'm uh, very happy it's very very nice look at this no you know what let's jump inside the car because I don't want to freeze to death boom I'm inside the car this is the cockpit view but we're not going to start with this first of all door bins very big like you can see this is a one and a half liter bottle and it fits no problem whatsoever and overall you still have a lot of space of course blinkers and all that I won't cover that nice air vents here with a nice finish aluminium and metal and it's very nice you know with the black and the sporty package it's just a very nice uh, and appealing interior but let's move on to the center console here you have some storage with USBs and everything you can see you, there's my phone my keys and all that and here of course uh, for uh, the auto hold and drive modes and everything we'll cover that in a minute but you can do this and there it reveals two cup holders and a wireless charger for your phone you can put it here and it's going to charge plus you get another socket here and some tiny bit of storage I'm not sure what you'd use that for but still let's close that back up and here you have you know warnings and all that controls for the stereo and uh, to defrost your windows and everything so that's quite straightforward now I say I'll turn on the car so you can see well the infotainment and then everything back uh, it turns on like this you would think that you would have to press this but no you have to turn it and then the car just comes to life this is a hybrid so it's in full electric uh, when it starts again sorry a bit dirty here so the drive modes let's cover those let's cover those first so the drive modes see this is hybrid that's how I drive the car 90% of the time uh, it's basically well what it says it's a hybrid mode so you use both engines and to the best and the most efficient way eco drive so the pure mode is full electric constant all-wheel drive because yes this is an all-wheel drive car will give you constant all-wheel drive I wouldn't say that it's the mode for off-roading but more like when you have icy roads and everything and you just want to feel a bit safer now there is the power mode which is the sports mode of course for sport driving it's written on the screen and lastly you have the off-road which is more well off-road dedicated mode then again in this car it could be useful whereas in the XC40 it was quite useless because front wheel drive right so I'll keep it in hybrid now let's show you the digital display so that's what happens here in hybrid this is the digital display it only changes when you put it in sports you get it and the engine just starts and 
yeah all that happens it's great but anyway let's go back to hybrid because i don't find it very useful uh in in sports when doing a review right now we'll put it in sports a bit later now there's the display straightforward here everything is well laid out it's very clear plus this one has um heads up display and i love that option if you guys know me you know i love heads up displays and that's just a big plus for me now let's look at the infotainment system which is again quite straightforward here you can set up the degrees to which you'd like your car to blow its air at and of course you have heated seats and heated steering wheel uh, on both sides not for the steering wheel of course for the seats because you don't have two steering wheels that's just a dumb comment and there you have my average uh, Again, I've mostly driven this car in town, so it's pointless for me to tell you like, yeah, I've done a 50 feet. No, it's not. It's like, honestly, 85 to 90% of the driving has been done in town. I've done uh, driving with full charge and without charge, and that's the average I got, so around six, but mostly it was in hybrid and, you know, normal, regular driving. Uh, but I've also gotten an average where I've driven the car a bit more on the highway and tried to get a full mix. And that was more around 7.6, if I remember correctly, like driving at 120, 130 on the highway, plus city mixed hybrid again. See, now it's going up because I have the engine started. So yeah, uh, I have restarted it to see the true average in town with the full charge and everything. So it's still quite good. Of course, you can connect your phone, Bluetooth, music, position, all that. We know that, of course, you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If your phone has it and it's connected, you get many, many, you know, radio, Bluetooth. I, I'm not going to cover that. You can see that on the screen. It's quite straightforward. And if you move uh, to the left, you get all the safety features from lane assist to park assist, to the cameras. See, you have many, many cameras. It's, it's quite nice. I like this. It's a clear camera and it works just fine. And if you want to go back to this, you just press the button. And here, here you have the heads up display and your collision avoidance, which is the, the car is going to break and help you not crash the car. Distance alerts, you know, pause and you can see all the features. I'm not going to cover all of them because again, with the other Volvo, as I told you in the previous review, there's just too many. And, you know, Volvo is well known for uh, that. No, I don't think there's much I still have to cover about this car. Well, you see the steering wheel, you see there's commands on the steering wheel. I'm not going to go into that, but I think it's right about now where I should start the car. Well, it's already started. So that's right about now where I should take this car for a drive and tell you more about it when it comes to comfort, when it comes to driving, when it comes to, you know, just my own personal opinion on this car. So first and foremost, the way I'm seated, well, I'm very comfortable in this car. As you can see, I have tons of headroom and obviously tons of uh, well legroom and all that of course I'm well seated in this car it's an XC60 and if I was fitting in the XC40 just fine this is just that but bigger so let's take this for a drive starting in this car you'll hear for this time well it just picked up with the engine uh, sometimes it will go full electric most of the times it will be just full electric now the engine is running and even with the engine running I don't have to scream it's very silent it's very refined the suspension is very comfortable uh, I feel it's a bit more rigid than the XC40 uh, inscription but maybe it's just me maybe that's because of the winter tires maybe it's because of the road which is not as good as last time now there's also like uh, some ice patches and everything so yeah nevertheless it just feels a bit uh, more rigid now behind the wheel of this car how does it drive well like any other car it's an automatic car and when you use it as a hybrid it just drives normally you have a commanding view which is something uh, i enjoy especially you know crossovers i'm not a big fan this to me is more of a suv mid-range suv than a crossover so I tend to enjoy this a bit more I think you know a bit larger like if you get an SUV just go you know full on don't you, know, you get the point for example if I accelerate I mean it picks up again in hybrid is it a bit laggy yes yes like the XC40 it does have a bit of lag when you're in uh, hybrid mode I was in electric, now I'm back in electric. Very silent, very refined, very comfortable. You know, it's a very family oriented car and you wouldn't expect this to be like loud and noisy and aggressive. No, of course, this is a Volvo V6. This is not a Polestar and I'm sure even the Polestar will be refined because it's a Volvo. And you know, being loud and everything is just not a Volvo thing, right?
and I'm, I'm going way faster than I should, although within speed limits, of course. Of course, I'm always within speed limits. We, you and I both know that. But yeah, it's very relaxing. Now, what could I criticize about the XC60? Nothing. The only criticism I had for the XC40, which was really uh, stupid, was the fact that, well, that car uh, didn't have like electric folding mirrors. This has like, I know it was stupid and I, you know, it's not very necessary, but I was thinking you know, at that price range, uh, you should get that. And in this car, well, it's the case. But then again, this car is a bit more expensive too. And you might be tempted to ask me, well, Gabriel, but what's the price of this Volvo T6 all wheel drive recharge? Well, let me tell you, this car with this engine, starts at around 61, 62,000 euros. And with all the options and everything, you're uh, well past 70,000 euros. Again, this is not cheap. Like with this XC40, which was, uh, well, basically fully loaded, it costed as much as the starting price for this car. This will, this can go up to 80,000. If you get all the option, everything, everything, it, you, you might reach 80,000 euros, which is a lot of money. I know that. But then again, as I was saying in the, the other video, do I feel cheated? Do I feel like this car is really not deserving of the price? Ah, no, no, I don't. Because if you look again at an X3 with all the options and similar power, you'll quickly realize that that's just the price. But does it give you more or less? You know, for that, I would have to do a proper comparison with uh, the other two cars with a X3 uh, and a Q five which i do not have right now and i wish i could do that in the near future so audi bmw volvo if you can hear me just give me all those cars so i can do a comparison between uh those three uh mid-size uh, suvs so the way it drives well it drives nicely the way it feels well it feels nicely is it comfortable yes it's comfortable yes that's quite a positive review and again i i was because I'm not a fanboy uh, of the brand. I enjoy it now. Now that I'm discovering it, I get to enjoy it and that's uh, very pleasant. But if there were something wrong with the car, I would tell you. And so far I couldn't find anything wrong with the car. Everything is well laid out. Everything is very well made. Everything is just the way it's supposed to be. And therefore criticizing something that's good, it's just pointless. It's criticism for the sake of criticism. And you know, listen, even with the lag, let me put the car in sports now. And see if there's well there's a huge bump and i've just taken the worst road possible to do that uh, now listen in sports mode if i need power it just goes there is no lag anymore it just goes and i love the wind of the engine supercharger turbocharger all that it's it just works so well together with the electric engine. It just gave me the boost of the line and then everything kicked in. It's very, very responsive. So even if you need more power and you're like, oh, but uh, you said it's laggy when you drive. No, it's not. It's not like, it's not gonna take two minutes for it to spool up if you're in hybrid, but of course it's gonna take maybe a second or two, something like that. That's what I mean by lag. It's not instantaneous. But once you're in sports, it just goes, man, it just goes. Good Lord, honestly it goes. Does it go much quicker than the XC40? No, because it's a bit heavier. It's not a much more uh, aggressive acceleration, but uh, in general, uh, it's gonna be a bit faster. And I do enjoy that, I do enjoy that. The sound, I mean, you get the sound from the engine, which is cool, but there's no real exhaust sound or anything. Again, this is, this is a family uh, mid-size SUV. This is not a sports car. Let's put it back in hybrid because that's the most enjoyable mode for this car. Now I'll give you, as with the other reviews, a quick POV so you can see acceleration and all that and the cockpit view. So you get a POV point of view um, image of the, the whole cockpit and everything. And then I'll give you my conclusion on this car.
So what's my conclusion? Well, it's very straightforward. Is the XC40 any good? Yes. Is it, well, expensive? Yeah, it's, it's, it's expensive. Is it worth the money? Yes, I think the car is worth the money, especially if you get it like, a, you know, like a company car and everything with the tax exemptions and everything, because this is a hybrid, I think it will be a, it would be a good investment in my opinion. So I'm not gonna bore you with a 50 minute uh, video on this car because I've covered everything I wanted to cover. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment uh, down below or you can DM me on Instagram at your car show at any time uh, you'd like and I'll reply because we're not that many so I can still afford to uh, spend some time replying to all the messages, all the comments and um, you know, everything. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps us with uh, the referencing on YouTube. And if you can spare a couple of seconds, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps us tremendously. I don't like doing that, you know, basically begging for subscribers, but it's just a game. And uh, if we don't do that, it's harder for us to get cars and uh, you know, all that. So if you wanna join me on this adventure, make sure to subscribe and also uh, follow us on Instagram for more content, you know, pictures, stories and all that. So anyways, as usual, it was a pleasure to review this car for you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. No, 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 it's not bye, it's ciao. That, that's the right outro, ciao. <laughs>